Maddie. Come on. Sorry I made you feel stupid just now, right? If you really want to learn about cars, I can definitely teach you. Yeah, I'd like that. They were there for you during your toughest preteen years. You counted on them every single day after you got home from school, and they always just seemed to get it. No, we're not talking about your childhood pet, but we are talking about that hot 90s teen heartthrob that you may have forgotten about. So right now, we are bringing back seven of the hottest heartthrobs from the 90s right here on Listed. But you guys, before I begin, I have to point out that I'm wearing red today to support women's heart health. Hashtag go red for women. And really though, what else could get your heart pumping more than reminiscing about some 90s studs, which really brings me back to a simpler time, one where you just glued magazine posters from Tiger Beat Magazine all over your wall and pretended like you were kissing JTT. Yeah, he's a tough one to forget, but Boy, was he in with the ladies. Well, uh, maybe we can hang out together, because I'll never be invited to another party again. <laughs> I'd like to hang out with you. You would? Jonathan Taylor Thomas kicked off his teen fame on Home Improvement and then rose to the top in a ton of other movies like Tom and Huck, I'll Be Home for Christmas, Man of the House, and yes, he even voiced hot young Simba in The Lion King. Although he stepped out of the limelight for the most part, he made our teenage dreams come true for a split second after reuniting with his TV dad, Tim Allen, on the show Last Man Standing. And our love, or at least my love for JTT, never gonna die. And moving right along to the next 90s heartthrob on our list, every now and then you probably think about Devin Sawa who got his start in the fame game in 1994 in a film called Little Giants playing dreamy toilet paper throwing quarterback Junior. Then coming to life in the movie Casper and fully stealing our hearts in now and then. Hey Icebox, kick some butt. Call me Becky. <laughs> and that smirk is going to be engraved in our minds for all of eternity. But he still continues to act and is more recently known for Nikita and the upcoming sequel to his cult classic SLC Punk. So for those of you out there who may think you're all about the 90s and just so happened to believe that the Jonas Brothers were the first group of brothers to sweep Hollywood off its feet, well, I'm here to tell you, you're really wrong. The real OG bros, Joey, Matthew, and Andy Lawrence got their start in the 90s when the oldest brother, Joey, the OG of all, got his start thanks to the show Blossom, shortly after he recruited his brothers to play siblings on Brotherly Love and numerous Disney Channel original movies to follow. Okay, boys, now that I'm armed, you guys are about to learn the international rules of water balloon war. Now, if you guys hit me, I'm going to get you back. I'm going to be in your face forever. I'm going to be around every corner. Hit me, and you guys are going to never get rid of me, okay? Talk is cheap. <laughs> and then Matthew went on to just make us swoon hardcore on Boy Meets World, while Joey and Andy dropped off the scene until Joey came back in action and scored a lead role in the comedy Melissa and Joey, but rumor has it, I'm so excited, the three of them are working on another TV show together, so you best prepare yourselves for the Lawrence Brothers, The Grown Up Edition. And you may remember Marcus Houston as the incredibly annoying neighbor Roger on Tia and Tamara Mowry's hit comedy, Sister, Sister, but I kind of always had a soft spot for him. Ironically enough, he actually balanced being the annoying stage five clinger by also becoming one third of Immature, a singing group, and the band even guest starred on the show. But there were some times when he wasn't so immature. Count on me through thick and thin, a friendship that will never end. When you are weak, I will be strong. Since then, Marcus still holds on tight to his music career and has popped up in movies like You Got Served and Boogie Town. Now, long before The O.C. or One Tree Hill, the original teen soap opera, Beverly Hills 90210, was home to Luke Perry, another heartthrob who played Dylan McKay, a.k.a. the hottie bad boy from the wrong side of the tracks. 
Actually, that's not true because he was from Beverly Hills, but details. Luke also starred in the comedy film Buffy the Vampire Slayer and another film Eight Seconds, but more recently has dabbled in the Hallmark movie biz and other TV series here and there. Now, nearing the end of the list, we have Andrew Keegan. Ooh, I think I'm blushing who popped up on many 90s favorites like Full House, Step by Step, Boy Meets World, but he also had major breakout roles all thanks to Party of Five, Seventh Heaven, and the teen classic I can't get enough of, Ten Things I Hate About You. Uh, so you're going to Bogey Lombrow's thing on Friday night? Yeah, I might. Good, because you know, I'm not gonna bother if you won't be there. See you there? I'm sorry, uh, babe alert? Andrew has since acted in a few other projects here and there, but may be known more recently for starting his own religion. Who would have thought, right? All right, last on our list is the adorable duo who you all know and love from Boy Meets World. It's Ryder Strong and Will Friedel, who played the two dudes nearest and dearest to Corey Matthews Hart, AKA his bro and his best friend. <laughs> Favorite color on three. Go. One, two, three. Blue! <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. All right. <laughs> I don't like them. The world fell in love when they met these boys, so much so that they continued to appear on the show's reboot, Girl Meets World, on the Disney Channel. The two have continued to kill the acting game, working behind the camera with Ryder dabbling and directing episodes of Girl Meets World and Will continues to act mostly via voiceover. So we are sure to be seeing and probably hearing much more of them in the near future. And with that, my friends, that sums up our list of the hottest 90s heartthrobs. But now that we've gone out with all these dudes, I mean, sort of, that made our hearts melt, we've also gone all red because today we are helping to support a very special cause women's heart health. Now, most people out there think that heart disease is a man's disease, but heart disease and stroke actually claim the lives of one out of three women each year, and that's more than all cancers combined. But you guys, 80% of heart disease and stroke events can be prevented by lifestyle changes and education, and there are lots that you can do to improve your heart health, to spread the word, and just be a part of the movement. You can head over to GoRedForWomen.org to learn a lot more. And after that, don't forget to click right over here to check out some of the best celeb Snapchat face swaps of all time. Thanks so much for hanging out with me right here on Listed. I'm your girl Jocelyn Davis, and I'll see you next time. And now click to the left to check out some little known facts about Beyonce's Lemonade album, and click to the right to see some of the best advice ever given by the one and only Demi Lovato.